Welcome back. I asked you at the beginning of the show if you've got ugly outdoor utilities ruining your home's curb appeal. So if the answer is yes, pay close attention. Chris has some really clever fixes for you that look so good. Talk to us about your clients, Chris. Right, I come across this all the time, especially in a property like this that's expo exposed to the sidewalk on this one side. People hate the look of all the utilities, the air conditioning units, the power vent for the furnace, the water heater, the sump pump. So my clients hated the look of this all, and my goal was to kind of just make it disappear. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we created this privacy screen out of the exact same fence boards that we used to build our fence. Um, we've made enough room around it to allow airflow for the unit. We don't want to obstruct any airflow around the unit because it could affect how the unit performs. There's two. Of, there's actually two of these units here because of the size of the house. They have two HVAC units. Like as you can see, it's kind of unsightly with the aircon unit, with the power vents. It looks we amazing. We may consider closing in a top on this afterwards. It looks really good. It's really clean from the street. People ask us to do this all the time. You know, if you had, let's say, in your backyard and a garden around trees, it wouldn't matter so much. But on this side of the house, it's kind of ugly. And if, ever, if they ever needed to get in there to fix anything, you can still do that, right? Super easy. Yeah, this thing is not actually fixed to the ground. It's really easy just to oh, pop in and out. Okay. Again, it's pressure treated material, so it won't rust. It won't rut rot you can pull it in and out to do any type of repairs or maintenance you need to change the boards anything amazing okay fantastic idea now the dirty old exhaust pipes i hear you have a solution for that right so what we have here this is the power vent from the high efficiency furnace these things are really nasty so what i chose to do was to paint this kind of matte black color to make it disappear with the rest of the house but before you get into this you want to make sure that you shut off the hvac unit because one of these is an intake and one of them is an output so you do not want to be spraying paint and have the unit have the paint being sucked back into the house mm -hmm. so once we shut off the hvac unit we want to tape everything off with newspaper or whatever because the last thing you want to do is, is you want to get overspray all over the side of their house. I'm not in the business of doing that. <laughs> so we got one painted. I'm going to show you how to do another one. The HVAC's off. We want to make sure to use an exterior grade spray paint, one that'll stick to plastic. Not everything sticks to plastic. I like matte black because it kind of goes with, you know, the rest of the aesthetic here. So we're just going to give this a spray. So Chris is outside, which is why um, you know he doesn't have he doesn't have a mask on or uh, or glasses. If you feel like you need those, take whatever safety precautions uh, you feel you need because I think it's probably better to be safe than sorry. This guy's a pro uh, and he's doing it for TV, so uh, he's ready to go go doing it this way. Chris, I want to know, like, how many coats does that usually take for you? Are you just giving it a one coat all the way over? Yeah, yeah. So this is one. This is the second one. So what I would recommend is after it's dry to the touch, I would apply another coat with this. That looks really good. It's the, it's the simplest thing, uh, but it makes such a huge impact. I love it. Now, I hear you have one last tip that uh, plays on the latest outdoor trend. Do you tell? Right, so this, so this whole side of the yard is to make this whole side of the yard a little more presentable, cover the air con units, cover all the mechanical, but the next thing we're going to do is it's the latest trend in exterior design is core 10 steel. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. It's kind of an architectural steel, kind of has this burnt orange, rusty color. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere, mm -hmm. but what we're doing here is we're having a custom-made core 10 steel box. It's going to be 25 feet long. It's going to run the length between this air con unit and that air con unit. It'll be filled with fescues and ornamental grasses later on. And then at the front part of the property, because this is a curved lot, they have people tending to cut through their garden, which is super annoying. Mm. Uh, I think it's a, a trend with corner lots. So what we're doing is we're going to create a garden edger that's going to be on a turn on a bend. It's going to follow the curvature of the property. It's going to be about 18 inches high. So it's going to be structural. It's going to be aesthetically pleasing. And it's going to keep people out of their garden. I think that is such a great idea. And you're right. I've seen it everywhere. There's something very like industrial slash contemporary about the Corton steel trend. So uh, I love it. And I think that that is a great idea. Listen, it's tough when you've got a corner lot. You usually have a lot of space, but everything's sort of exposed to two different sides. So it's really nice to have something totally. that retains it and keeps it all looking compact and intentional. Your, uh, your clients are lucky to have you, Chris. Thanks, Tracy. If you want more information on how to hide your outdoor utilities, go to cityline.tv.